Julia Street will be obstruction-free up to 70% by the end of 2016 and Penang Island City Council or MBPP Councillor Muhammad Bakhtiar Wanchi says their main focus is to remove permanent blockages along the walkways. So, to provide the friendly place ataupun mesra dalam kaki dan ini adalah Penang Island City uh, is referring to the pejalan kaki lah, ataupun uh, Nah, jadi kita nak teruskan lagi usaha ini, kita sedang beri perhatian dan kita nak, nak mengenal pasti uh, halangan-halangan di laluan-laluan pejalan -laluan, uh, kaki ataupun by footway ataupun kaki lima and uh, we choose Julia Street for the start okay? uh, thanks to Penang Institute who have done the survey on the walkability uh, Penang Institute Urban Studies head Stuart MacDonald, who is working with the council on the matter, says there are some 600 permanent obstructions along the walkways in the Georgetown Heritage Enclave. He says an exercise conducted in Chulia Street last year showed that the experience of the elderly, disabled or children walking on the street was quite unsafe. He says there is a need to look at how to work with the businesses, owners and residents to bring back the pedestrian infrastructure for pedestrian use. Under the law, Individuals found obstructing walkways can be arrested without warrants, and if found guilty, they can face a 500 ringgit fine or not more than 1,000 ringgit for a second and subsequent convictions.